Hey guys, Buffering Gaming back bringing you another video, and today we're finally covering covering the requested FN FAL paratrooper version. So let's go ahead and get right into this. We're gonna turn the standard FAL or the FAL in the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare into the paratrooper variant of this. More commonly known standard name is the FAL 50.62. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here's our final variant. So first off, we'll strip it down. So we have the base FN FAL. So first off, for this version, very simple conversions here. It's gonna change with the gun very slightly. More of a cosmetic look, a little bit of performance. But we're gonna skip on the muzzle. For the barrel, we're gonna want that 18 inch ultralight. So the FAL 50.62, or the paratrooper variant that we're looking at here, does come with a standard 18 inch barrel. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. This one is going to improve our ADS speed. Con is gonna be bullet velocity, but we're gonna make up for that in other areas. So we'll go ahead and do the 18 inch ultralight barrel. Laser, we're gonna skip out on. We're trying to keep this true to what the actual FN, FAL, para, or the 50.62 variant is. So we're gonna skip on the laser as well as the optic. For this, we're gonna go just with standard iron sights for this build, but those are more so how you feel. If you want an optic on that, please go right ahead. Stock, so this is the key attachment here. We're gonna want that factory 18 inch aluminum stock. So this is a lightweight aluminum stock keeps you agile while aiming down sight. So the pro obviously is ADS, or I'm sorry, aim walking movement speed. So your mobility is gonna increase. The con is aiming stability, but this is this the standard stock that we see on the para versions of the FNFAL. Go ahead and select that. Rear grip here, we're gonna go ahead and do the stipple grip take. This is going to increase our ADS speed as well as our sprint to fire speed. It's gonna help keep us more mobile, true to what this battle rifle was initially intended for. Now, for the ammo, the standard ammo that comes with the FNFAL is a 20-round box mag, which we have here. So, again, this is personal preference. You can go with the 24 or the 30 if you feel you need more firepower, but to keep it true to form, we're going to stay with this standard 20-round mag. Under barrel, we're going to go with a bipod, just for the sake of getting that crouch and prone accuracy increase, plus a lot of the FAL variants do come with this standard bipod that we see here. So that'll just give us, again, that more cosmetic, um, aesthetic look of the, the real life FNFAL para. And then, so that we've utilized four attachments. So again, you can use these other slots at your discretion where you see fit. You can even put a compensator on that'll help with the recoil for that first shot. Um, but what I'm gonna do for this is, I'm gonna do a perk just for frangible wounding. So what this does, bullet causes target healing to be briefly delayed. So obviously this is a heavy hitting battle rifle in 7.62 NATO. Um, so this is just gonna help not allow our enemies to heal as quick. So we can we can rush if we need to with a secondary or even with this weapon. So this is the finished product. This is the the FAL or the FAL 50.62 variant of the standard FN FAL. This is the paratrooper variant of this rifle. I know a lot of you been asking for this one. So this is the final product. Again, you can put a, a sights on there if you want. Use those other slots at your discretion. We're just trying to keep it more true to form. Um, so this is the final variant. We can make a few more variants out of this weapon, which is good. I'm waiting for a blueprint to come so we can turn it into um, a more modern variant of this weapon, which is called the DSA-50 OSW, as well as the CTC variant. So it's Operational Special Weapon and Compact Tactical Carbine, which I think we need a blueprint more to get the cosmetics of what that actually looks like. But this is the standard FNFAL Para 50.62. So let's go ahead and get a game, check the recoil with this, and see how it performs. Okay, so now that we're in game, let's just check out the recoil patterns on this rifle quickly. So this is our FAL Para 50.62. So let's just not control the muzzle climb at all. And even when we put a lot of shots down range there, pretty accurate you can see, so let's control it. Not too bad recoil with this particular build that we have. So let's try it again. So again, if you put a sight on this, you're gonna be that much more accurate, but you can see not controlling, there I am controlling it. And you can see right there, it definitely handles really well. They With the patch, they fixed the kick on this, so it definitely doesn't, the climb is not nearly as bad as it was. 
So not controlling, and then a mix of both controlling here. So if you were to put a slide on this, obviously your, um, your aim would be much better. Now, if we get into prone, that should increase it because we do have the bipod for the crouch. So let's try like three shots here. And then prone. So you can see they're pretty accurate, right? And they're just standing while moving. It works out well. So there's my prone and there's my crouched. See how it is in CQB? Personal radar drone. Definitely not a CQB gun, right? But So the problem is now that I'm out of ammo, but let's see if we can get this guy to kill us. Okay, so the FNFAL is a battle rifle designed by a Belgium Swire Arms designer. Um, it was initially designed in 1947, I believe. It's been in service since 1953 with all NATO countries for the most part, besides the exception of the U.S. Um, it's known as the right arm of the free world just because so many countries have adopted this weapon. There's two builds of this. It comes with the 7.62 NATO round as well as initially there were prototypes for a um, two, 280 British round, the L1A1 rifle that the British wanted, a self-loading rifle. But um, obviously the FNFAL 762 NATO variant was adopted by many different countries and is still in service today. Some of you also may know different variants of it as the SCG-58. I know that was in service with the Austrian army before the SCG-77 was finally de designed and developed by Steyr. And you can see just this build, if you're, if I'm accurate, right? Um, it hits hard with those 7.62. It is a battle rifle. You can get shots off quick with this. I really like the way it performs and it hits really hard, which is good. Um, Again, you could throw on a sight with this if you wanted. We just didn't do it for this particular variant. Let's see how we can do it if we crouch here at range. So it's pretty good, right? Three shot kill at range there to the body. Three shots up close too, to the chest. And you can tap fire this fast enough that it's um, close. Pretty close to full auto if you can tap for it fast enough. Let's see if we can get a decent close quarters engagement with this one. But as I said when we were making this gun, there is a more modern... Here we go. So there, you can tap for it so fast that it seems like it's uh, full auto for the most part, right? Besides when you get shotgunned. <laughs> but um, again, I'm waiting for a blueprint so we can make that DSA-58... The DSA Fal, so that's a more modern variant by an American company that was made. We don't have the, I mean, we have the attachments for it as far as barrel length, but uh, cosmetic, cosmetically, we don't quite have everything we need because it is a more modern take on the rifle, and there's some different variants with that. So I'm hoping there's going to be a blueprint maybe next season for the game here where we can get uh, a more modern variant of the FN Fal. But yeah, this thing handles great. Love it. Um, for this particular build, obviously the, oh, let's see, I hear him somewhere. So this being the paratrooper build, but there's many different barrel lengths that this weapon comes in. So the standard barrel lengths for the FN Fal comes in 21 inch, 18 inch, 17.2, as well as another 21 inch. So there's a few different variants there being, you can see designated, um, they're designated like 50.0, 50.61, 0.62, 0.63, and 50.41, and those all have different barrel lengths on them. There we go. 7.62 by 51 NATO rounds is what this fires, as we mentioned. Also that 280 British round as well. It's a gas-operated tilting breech block. 700 rounds per minute when fully automatic. Whoop. Where is this guy? Very accurate. Not really much muzzle climb whatsoever. I'm actually kind of shocked um, how much that, that muzzle climb was reduced with the recoil um, post-patch there. So 700 rounds per minute when fully automatic. Um, muzzle velocity of this particular one is going to be 810 meters per second because it is a para version. So the 50.62, which this one is based off of, is 
as we just said, 810 meters per second for effective range, or that's the muzzle velocity. Effective range for this is going to be 50 point. There we go. There's someone behind me. Uh-oh. Jeez. Okay, so as I was saying, the effective range is 300 meters on this weapon. Feed system, 20 to 30 round box mag. So again, if you wanted to uh, get rid of the frangible wounding that we did with this and put on that 30 round box mag, go right for it. That'll also fit this weapon as well. Sights, aperture, rear sights, um, the standard iron sights that we have here. But since there is a Picatinny rail on the top here, we can put different sights on there, obviously. We just didn't do it for this build. So I'm hoping that DSA variant comes out that I talked about that more modernized variant that one has a much more integrated rail system Picatinny rails uh, quad rails on the barrel that'd be a really nice looking design that was again a US military design but overall this thing handles really well I'm actually pretty surprised how well this handles but let's see where these guys are coming from so again, this is the right arm of freedom is the nickname here, used by many NATO, NATO, NATO countries, excuse me. Where is this guy? Three shot kill there. Missed that guy. This is one of the most widely used weapons in existence, right, right there with his counterpart of the AKM. Which is obviously this is a NATO weapon, the AKM being designed by is a Russian weapon, so the opposite side of the pack there during the Cold War. They must be below us, right? But it hits really hard, very accurate. No lie, you guys were asking for this, so sound out below what you think of the the FAL 50.62 or the FAL Para. Let me know your comments down below if you like this one or not. Have you used this in game? Are you a fan of this? I haven't really used this too much yet. I'm not. I haven't really been a fan initially pre-patch, and I haven't picked it up too much post. But with this particular build, I think I'm definitely going to be using it more. Also, be sure to leave me your ideas for weapons below uh, for our weapon conversion series. Anything else we can convert that you can think of or you want to see? I think another series will be we'll replicate uh, weapons from like Rainbow Six, Battlefield series, and stuff like that. From those games so i think we can do a lot of customization in this game which is great i know there's new weapons coming so we'll be doing much more variants on those as well and especially with blueprints it definitely changes up uh the conversions we can use on wow that was horrible eh? conversions we can use on these weapons so i'm looking forward to more blueprints as well next season also be sure to check out my twitch in the link below I'll be live streaming over there as well as youtube most weekends um also good ways to get a hold of me instagram and twitter also down below oh no that's 680 to the back but let me know what you guys think of this build i am buffner gaming this is the fal para or the fal 50.62 variant of this rifle belgian battle rifle and i know this was requested really great great gun I definitely love how this thing handles. But until next time, I'm Buffner Gaming. Oh, where'd this guy gonna go? Till next time, Buffner Gaming. Out. Cluster strike ready.